So hello everyone, for today's webinar, we will be talking about Signal, a private messaging app. So what we will be covering is what is Signal? How can Signal send text messages, voice messages, and make video calls to other Signal users? How does Signal provide end-to-end -end encryption? And what are disappearing messages and the screen lock feature? And how can you access Signal on your phone or laptop? What is Signal? Signal is an encrypted messaging service for instant messaging, voice, and video calls. You can send text, voice messages, images, videos, and other files. You can use Signal for one-on-one -on -one conversations or group messaging. So making calls with Signals. In Signal, tap the pencil icon to view your uh, Signal contact list. Select a contact or enter a number to open your conversation. Tap the phone icon to start a voice call or the camera icon to start a video call. On some, de on some devices, select call in the prompt or the green start call button. While on a call, tap the camera icon to show or hide your video from your side of the call. Your call, your, your call screen will show calling or connecting while waiting for the uh, other person for the call to connect with your other contact. Ringing means when your contact's phone is online and ringing. Signal plus timer means after your call has been answered. So for text messages, select a contact or search for a contact name. Therefore, uh, their phone number or group name, then select the entry. Tap into the text field and type your messages to attach a photo, video, or file. Uh, use the plus icon. To send messages on Android, tap the blue send icon with closed lock. And on iOS, tap the blue send arrow. And it's the same as iMessages. And on desktop, just press enter. And for voice messages, to send voice messages in Signal, enter the conversation and locate the microphone icon as shown in the picture over here. It is next to the camera and the plus icon. For Android, press on the microphone to start recording your message. And once you are done, press it again to end the recording and send it. For iOS, press and hold on the microphone to record your message. And once you let go, it will send. Signals end-to-end -end encryption. A permanent key pair is created, is created by the most encryption system when an app is installed on an iPhone. Uh, this key pair consists of one public key, which is sent to the messaging server and will be used to identify the user, and one private key, which never leaves the user's phone. Even if you erased your messages from your phone, if that private key is ever compromised, it will still be able to decrypt any encrypted communica communications that were logged when they were first transmitted across the network. The ratchet scheme, known as the signal protocol, on the other hand, switches the keys after each message. In addition to the permanent keys, it generates a set of temporary key pairs for each user. The temporary and permanent pairs of public and private keys belonging to both users are combined by the app when a user sends a message to a contact using the Signal protocol, creating a shared key. This shared secret key is used to encrypt and decrypt the message. The secret key only exists on the user's two devices because creating it necessitates having access to their private keys. Additionally, the signal protocol can create a new shared key after each transmission thanks to its system of temporary keys, which it constantly refreshes for each user. This uh, is known as perfect forward secrecy and will only be beneficial if the user deletes their messages periodically. 
This, this is because if they are not deleting their messages, whoever accesses the app will be able to see its history. Now for disappearing messages, Signal offers disappearing messages and as the name suggests, after a certain time limit, the message automatically deletes. Each dis disappearing message will have a timer icon as shown over here in the picture, visible at the bottom of the message bubble. You can set a default, default time limit for all chats by going to the setting in Signal, selecting privacy, and inputting a default timer for a new chat. To set a timer for a specific chat, enter um, the one-on-one -on -one chat, select the three dots at the top of the screen, and then disappearing messages. For group chats, the admin can select who can change the timer. This would be found in chat settings and disappearing messages. You have multiple options. You can uh, uh, select to disappear messages after 30 seconds, five minutes, an hour, eight hours, one day, one week, and up to four weeks. And you as well can choose a custom time. So select a time for the disappearing messages. You can designate a custom time. Uh, once you have selected a time for iOS, you would have to select set. And for Android, you would select save. For the desktop timer, it will be applied automatically. The chat header then will include a timer icon and an alert will be displayed in your chat thread showing the disappearing message time. So the screen lock feature, Signal screen lock feature uses your phone's PIN, passphrase, or biometric authentication like a fingerprint, touch ID, or face ID to prevent unauthorized users from accessing the app. To enable screen, rock, uh, screen lock, desktop is currently not compatible for this, but you can definitely use it on your phone or iPad. Enter the setting of Signal by selecting on your profile icon selecting privacy and enabling the slider for screen lock, which is shown over here. You can also determine how long this will take by adjusting the timeout feature. So accessing Signal on your phone. Signal is free to download in the App Store for iOS in, and in the Google Play Store for Android. If you send a message using Signal to someone not using the app, the message will not be protected. So Signal on your laptop. Signal is available, is available for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows as a companion app. In order to access Signal on your laptop, you need to sign up with a phone number and have the app installed on your phone. So these are just some extra resources that you can explore once the presentation is sent out to you. And thank you for listening. If you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors Mentor, please go to www.cyberseniors.org or call us at 1-844-217-3057 to register for our one-on-one -on -one phone session. We also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. ET on Thursdays. Thank <laughs> you.